हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम फॉर टुडे सेशन इन लास्ट सेशन इन एफडीआई वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेरियस एडवांटेजेस दैट अ कंपनी एंड कंट्री इज हैविंग व्हेन दे अलाउ एफडीआई इन देयर कंट्री नाउ टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सर्टेन लिमिटेशंस एंड प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज फेस्ड बाय आइदर अ कंपनी और अ कंट्री व्हेन दे अलाउड एफडीआई अमंग दिस the first one is hindrance to domestic investment that is blockage for domestic investment as country is focuses uh, finding the capital the resources from outside the uh, country that is focusing on the fdi foreign direct investment so, sometime it it, uh, it block the investment it uh, neglect the investment that is available within the home country so uh, too much focus on fdi will ultimately lead to the uh, suppress the domestic investment <clears throat> the next is risk from political changes generally many country are facing a political issues frequently and uh, and the such change in political parties or political rules and regulation may directly or indirectly affect on the fdi so uh, change in uh, political risk change in political uh, party or rules and regulation ultimately bring the risk for fdi and such type of risk are very high when it comes to the foreign investment that is investing in the foreign market so such type of factors are very uh, very risky say for example uh, at present if government has allowed if government has allowed the investment up to 49% in insurance sector now in case if the government changes and government thinks that the investment allowing this much of investment will be uh, will will not be advantageous for country then government may immediately change the rules and this will negatively impact uh, effect on the economy as well as the sector <coughs> so this type of uh, political changes the change in rules and regulations uh, sometimes uh, becomes very risky for fdi then the third one is negative influence in exchange rate foreign uh, fdi generally it is believed that it, it, it occasionally affect the exchange rate and uh, sometime uh, it it negatively impact the exchange rate uh, too much dependence on foreign direct investment will ultimately lead to the devaluation of the currency countries home cu home countries currency uh, similar effect has been seen over last few years on indian currency also so major flow of fdi will adversely sometime adversely effect on the countries uh, home countries exchange rate and will lead to the devaluation of the home countries currency the next limitation is higher cost when a company is investing in foreign country sometime it becomes very expensive for uh, rather than in uh, exporting goods if a country a host country is having certain restriction on export of the goods then the fdi is advantageous but if the host country is allowing free movement of goods from one country to another country the at that time it it is very expensive to go for fdi rather than going for export because fdi requires many activities and permission from the various authorities and it will also include many type of cost so in case if the host country allows free movement of goods through export or through any other way at the time the fdi becomes expensive but if the government has put a restriction on the free uh, transaction of goods that is export of goods then the fdi is advantageous other than this the fdi itself becomes very costly the next limitation of fdi is economic non viability 
men, uh, generally the FDI is capital intensive in the sense the company which wants to come in our country or wants to go in any other countries are generally very large in terms of capital, in terms of their production capacity, in terms of their operational activities and uh, hence from the uh, viewpoint of domestic market it is sometimes become non viable for the domestic market that is the domestic player are at a risk if FDI is allowed. Say for uh, similarly, uh, for example, uh, in India, uh, FDI in retail sector is not allowed because if uh, FDI is allowed, then a company's a very j a retail giant like Walmart wants to enter into India, and if they will enter into India, then it will be negatively if uh, it will be ha it will be having a huge negative impact on the small retail shopkeepers in India, which are unorganized sector. So, uh, such kind of uh, negative impact may have due to FDI on the economy, uh, particularly on the domestic player. So, sometimes FDI becomes non-economical uh, non -economic or non-viable from the viewpoint of domestic market. At the time, country discourage the FDI and they do not allow FDI in a particular sector and even if they allowed, then a certain amount of restriction will be put on FDI. Now, the next point is expropriation. Expropriation that is putting a control, uh, a, a control forcefully. Sometimes government uh, political changes, the change in rules and regulation, the change in political party may lead to the uh, may lead to control over the assets and property of the foreign companies. So, in such a cases, the FDI is discouraging for foreign companies. If government frequently put changes on their rules and regulation and by doing so, if government controlling the property, the assets and the operation of foreign companies, then FDI becomes disadvantages for the host countries. Then the next one is the negative impact on the country's investment. As already discussed, the, uh, the, dependence, uh, the dependence on the uh, too much foreign, uh, foreign investment will ultimately lead to the negli negligence of domestic investment. Further, uh, the decreasing rate of uh, home currencies, uh, the fluctuating rate of foreign exchange, etc. were also uh, lead to the uh, negative impact on country's investment and the last one is modern day economics control economic control many countries by uh, entering by uh, with the way of foreign direct investment want to control the economy want to control the operation or a particular market in a host country if the FDI turn into such type of colonialism that is controlling the economic power or uh, within the particular market or even the whole country then it will lead to have a huge negative impact on the market as well as country's economy. So uh, this type of disadvantages may country face uh, any of the country may face due to FDI. So that is all about today's session. Have a nice day. Goodbye.